because of his spinal fusion. There's so much metal and hooks and pins and things in his spine that they can't they can't give him a shot into the spine. So it's really, as the doctor put it, a leap of faith. So isn't that the way my life has always been, right? So that's it. This tree. I don't think of America has to close the damn early anything. I know, right? So I gotta talk to John, we have to go. Jolted out of sleep by Henry getting sick over there. That's probably because you were chewing on my slipper earlier this evening. Oh boy. And Daniel's wide awake. So, I have to go downstairs to Daniel. <laughs> Three. Three oh oh. Hey, um. Well, so good morning to you. What's going on here? I saw you kicking around. I was upstairs. Daddy told me the animals are awake. Everything okay, honey? You're going to go to the doctor's today. No school today. We have to go on a journey. I don't know what's going on with this. In the middle of the night, it, was, it wasn't it was um, plugged into his Mickey button. So, I don't, I don't know why there's so much left in there, but they've had it filled all the way to the top, so. Uh. Hi. You okay? You look kind of cranky this morning. You were up at three. All right, let me get you all changed. Then I'm going to take Henry out, and you know what? It's raining. Look at this rain. <sighs> but I guess suppose, I guess I suppose we need the rain. And it's not like we have anything really important to do today. I mean, you know what I mean. We have to drive to... Oops. We have to drive to um, New Haven, Connecticut today to go to an office um, not far from Yale New Haven Hospital. And I'm just looking down there and I see Daniel needs diapers. I need to order diapers. We have one case left in the basement, so... Okay. This is kind of a big day. Kind of a, yeah, something I've been dreading, but um, we'll talk about it later, really. It's the consultation with the neurosurgeon about the baclofen for Daniel, which we're really leaning in the direction that is probably going to help him. So, anyway, um, Okay, little man. I gotta take the dog out in a minute. He's so lazy in the morning. He sleeps, sleeps more than a newborn baby, and then he gets up and he's full of energy. All right, Daniel. The train. There's a train over there. Um. So today's adventure is Long Wharf. We're going to see a neurosurgeon for a consultation on possible surgery for Daniel that will help his very bad muscle spasticity. Oops. So, let's go check it out. Sarah said they'll be sending a replacement for her after... Uh, when? Well, I mean after... I'm not sure she'll be back after uh, you guys get that. Now you have that look on your face like, oh no. Oh no. They better not do the x-ray thing to me. <laughs> Pediatric Outpatient Services at Yelena Haven Hospice. Where we're going. Look at all the people. He's been getting nervous at the doctor's appointments lately. He just looks at me like, Mom, yeah. what's going on what's here? Going on? You're okay. 
You want to take this off? Here's the one. Now you're in a nice room. Look at this window. Look at the view. It's lovely. Look at the high ceilings. Oh wow, fancy. That like <laughs> Not in the typical room, Miguel. Huh? This is the consultation room. Huh? That was like the fastest appointment ever. In the most crowded room ever. <laughs> Busy one, two, three, we're out of there. So, doctor was awesome. It's really looking like this is going to happen. So, I have to talk to John and then we have to come back and meet with anesthesia and have a, another consultation. And then we'll see what happens. It's a possibility he could get it before we go away on vacation. And that would actually, hopefully, make things better for him and me. And us. So... Now we're going to get out of here. <laughs> Thinking about getting it done before we go away? Well, no, I, I mean, I don't think you're crazy. I mean, I, I it's did. a little bit close, but he's... Okay, so I'm home, and uh, we went up to the doctor. You, you, I can't even talk at Yale. Um, and uh, I walked in there, I was like, oh my God, it's so busy in here. We're going to be here for hours. But within seconds, we were in the room, and... We didn't have to talk to anyone. A doctor came right in. I was very impressed by this guy. His name is Mike DeLuna. He's a uh, neurosurgeon. Um, just nicest doctor. And uh, really pretty clearly let me know that the baclofen, baclofen pump is really the, the only option we have at this point to reduce Daniel's muscle spasticity because the oral baclofen, which we feed through the G-tube, is at its maximum dose and if you go higher orally then you become toxic so we certainly don't want to put toxicity in Daniel and obviously the 60 milligrams a day are not reducing the muscle spasticity that he's enduring and this is when he gets real tight and you know I talk about him having these fits you know when he's biting his hands and and, and seems really upset I mean, we've been talking about this issue for quite a while, and last summer he had a two-day sleep study to see if there was something going on um, neurologically. It was like a two-day EEG, and nothing came of that. So clearly it wasn't anything neurological, that it was just really muscular. And based on all of the appointments with his physiatrist, his orthopedic, his general, his pulmonologist everybody is concurring that it probably is the best thing for him um, so the next step would be to have an appointment with anesthesia where they'll actually show us what the pumps gonna look like or and what the process is gonna and do. I kind of threw it out there that you know it would be nice to get it done kind of ASAP Daniel's really healthy right now and so if he could get it done now, then maybe he would be comfortable when we take him down to, oh geez, to Florida in June, which we, family member who has a house down there and she lets us come down and visit her condo um, every year. But with the spasticity, the flying and just some of the activity and the lifting and the trans, everything is really hard because Daniel gets so freaking hard to move. Um, so by having the surgery before we go, I was hoping that he might have a more enjoyable time down there and the doctor said he should be healed up perfectly you know by the time we go so it's possible and he said he would be willing to make it happen for me so once we get to Florida it's actually very relaxing and and calm and he can swim and, and I just want him to be happier so I do believe that this is what what we're gonna do I guess I just have to say it that yeah we're gonna do it because there's nothing else you can do for a person with spasticity other than the pump. I mean, there's no other than live with it. And clearly he's not happy. He's miserable. So maybe this in conjunction with the new wheelchair that's coming in a few weeks will help him. And what happens with the pump, it will take away a lot of the tone that restricts him from activity. Like um, he will still be able to move around, but he won't be impeded by 
just being so tight he can't do anything. Sometimes he just goes into this his, his, this distension and it's happening in his therapy for walking now because he can't facilitate a step if he's so spastic that all his muscles are tight and, and his knees are contracting. So, um, so that's where I'm at. And if it were one doctor saying no, I don't think so, and one doctor saying yeah, I think so, then I'd be hemming and hawing, but everybody seems to be in in the same boat with this surgery. So it does have a complication in that typically they would typically a child will go in or an adult and they'd say, okay, we want to possibly do this. We're going to do a trial. And they take the person into the hospital for a day or two and they give them a dose of the baclofen right into the spine via, um, uh, I don't know, like a shot, and right? We'll see what how it affects them because this is what the pump does. It instead of going through the stomach, it administers the medicine directly to the spine by putting the pump inside the body. It it goes right to the spine. That's exactly where the medicine. And you can give them a minute dose that has the same effect as the like 60 milligrams or whatever you were giving him. So he won't have the effect of the sleepiness and the and the dis disorientation that oral baclofen gives people so that's a benefit but we cannot do the trial because of his spinal fusion there's so much metal and hooks and pins and things in his spine that they can't they can't give him a shot into the spine so it's really as the doctor put it a leap of faith so isn't that the way my life has always been right so that's it so I gotta talk to John we have to go up there hopefully he can come with me and uh, we'll have the second consultation and then schedule this puppy and get it over with right I think it'll help this is gonna impact a lot of things though my work my money my, my situation but he needs it so Did you go poopies it's really damp out it's been like kind of drizzly today but it's warm and I like it so that's what happened today on Tuesday. We were down and back. They were so fast. I'm so happy. Yale, you're so awesome. Oh my God. So easy. And now I'm just walking Henry and then I got to get Thomas at 2.30. What do you think about things? Huh? Handsome? Huh? You tired? Want to go outside and look at the trees? Get some fresh air? Henry. Henry, what do you got? He's fascinated by bugs. Just thinks they're the coolest thing ever. Look how skinny his little butt and legs look. <laughs> it's incredibly different. It's half the size. Look at Henry. Hey. What? Hey. 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 Hey, hey, hey. This tree. I don't think Bank of America has to close to damn early or anything. I know, right? You want a baclofen pump? You want to feel better? You want to walk in a walker, go swimming in the water, and go to the pool, and go on an airplane and go to Florida? Go on bike rides? Do fun stuff? What do you think? Yeah? Your expression changed when I said swim or whatever, something. Beep.